Hey Ryan, Tesla Tom here. Thanks for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. With uh, the family today, we are actually doing a Model Y rear wheel drive range test. And many thanks again to viewer Ross, who's loaning us this Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive for the next uh, six weeks while they're on holidays in Europe. So thank you, Ross, hope you're enjoying your holidays. So today we're actually going from Sydney, which is where we are right now, to Newcastle along the Pacific Motorway M1. As you can see from the trip computer, it's telling us that to arrive at our destination in Ridges, Newcastle, we'll reach there at 5.41 p.m. It'll take one hour and 33 minutes, 136 kilometers away, and the estimated battery state of charge on arrival will be 51%. It's currently now 89%, and with 89%, the range is 386 kilometers according to the Tesla computer. And I will just show you one thing, which is to go to the trips here, and we're gonna reset trip A just to show you guys the efficiency uh, on arrival and just to see how long it took to drive there. And so one more thing to show you as we turn onto the motorway is this screen here, which is the uh, trip screen. As we turn onto the North uh, Pacific Motorway M1, and it's telling us that the gray line here is the original estimated uh, battery state of arrival and energy consumption when we first entered the trip into the nav and the green line represents uh, on the current journey or the current uh, energy consumption we're using we are looking at an arrival state of charge of 51 percent so we'll certainly come back at the end of our journey and see how accurate that was and also how accurate the nav computer was as well which is this screen here so we'll take a photo of that and compare it to uh, the arrivals, arrival stats or the arrival battery state of charge. All right, let's uh, hit the open road, engage autopilot now, double tap on the right stalk here. Okay, so 80 kilometers an hour and currently, so this range test is uh, basically 100 or 110 kilometers an hour most of the way on the Pacific Motorway M1. All right, touch base very shortly. Okay, so we are now about to go to 110 kilometers an hour. So you can match the posted speed sign by pressing that on the screen or right stalk, hold down one, two, there, and it'll match the screen, 110. And then we're gonna cut to the left lane. And as soon as you indicate on basic autopilot, which is what this car is equipped with, not FSD or EAP, then um, auto steer will cut off or disengage, but you've still got the traffic aware cruise control. So to reactivate, double tap right stalk again, Okay, tram track blue lines, and we're back on basic autopilot auto steer. Okay, and uh, yeah, we'll touch base once again, halfway through the drive. All right, quick update, and I'm speaking softly because both children have actually fallen asleep back here because it's very, very comfortable for them, especially with the reclining seats in the second row. Anyway, it's... Um, now it's uh, showing 55 minutes to go, 72 kilometers left, 57% state of charge on arrival, which is fantastic. If you remember, we, we, when we left Sydney, it was 51% estimated uh, on arrival. Let's check out the energy. There we go. The green is the estimated journey, and gray is uh, what was predicted at the beginning. So we're actually doing better than, uh, doing better than what the computer or the car's computer was predicting and we are still traveling at 110 kilometers an hour. We've been doing at least 100 kilometers an hour throughout most of the trip. So this will be a really good range test. And just a quick tip for you guys, um, if you want to alter the follow distance between your car and the car ahead, just toggle this right wheel here. You see how my numbers change from two all the way to seven. So that's the range, two to seven. It used to be one to six, but now that it's camera-based autopilot, it's now two to seven and the maximum speed limit for camera-based autopilot is 140 kilometers an hour, which of course we won't be testing today. So I might leave it on three, which is a comfortable distance for myself on uh, a road that's 110 kilometers an hour. And uh, the good thing about autopilot is that of course, you know, most of the time my hands are kind of down here or up here. So, and the fact that of course it's auto steer, the car is doing the driving for me. I feel much less fatigued for most of the journey. Uh, my feet are kind of on the floor, not over the pedals, but close enough in case I decide to take evasive maneuvers. Wheel, hands are on the wheel still most of the time, but much less 
uh, stress on the shoulders and the arms because I know the car is doing most of the steering and that frees up my mental energy to be able to uh, look at the road and concentrate on the surrounds rather than having to steer and do that as well. So, you know, a much easier drive on uh, autopilot for the Tesla Model Y rear-wheel drive. All right, so we're kind of halfway there and uh, I'll touch base with you again when we're closer. Okay, folks, we are approaching Newcastle. Uh, only five kilometers left until the turnoff. We may have to finish the video there because uh, then the speed limit will drop probably under 100 kilometers an hour. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, again, the uh, estimated arrival state of charge is 56%, so, so still better than the original 51%, which is great. Uh, just a quick note about the suspension. So having driven 100 kilometers or so, uh, look, it's a firm ride. I'll give it that. Certainly a stark improvement compared to our 2019 Tesla Model 3, uh, but not as gentle as other brands I have tested in this price range, namely the Polestar 2, Kia, EV6 and Hyundai Ioniq 5. But one thing about having a firm suspension is that you do feel secure on the road. It's not a floaty feeling by any means, and not uncomfortable by any means either. As you saw earlier, the kids were asleep, so it's certainly comfortable enough. And as for the driver, you know, if certainly you feel the road, uh, but it's a nice, safe, secure ride for you and your passengers. And of course, you can hear the road sound as well. So uh, the insulation, again, is probably not as good as other brands. Some of the road noise does come through to the cabin, as you can hear. All right, we're almost there and uh, we'll touch base once again when we are uh, off the freeway. Now take the exit on the left towards Newcastle Big Road. Okay, disengaging autopilot. I love this blind spot monitor now that it's up here. It makes it much uh, more user friendly. And there we go. So uh, 80 kilometers ahead, so which means that we will probably finish up our range test right now. Let's have a look at the trip computer. Trips, there we go, so trip A, 117 kilometers, total energy used, 15 kilowatt hours, and the average energy consumption, 130 watt hours per kilometer, which is actually quite efficient uh, on the freeway there, very good. And uh, let's have a look at this energy prediction, so there we go, currently that's where we are, 60%. We'll arrive at 57% and much better than what was estimated uh, back when we set the navigation back in Sydney. All right, I'll see you all very soon in Newcastle. Okay, everyone, welcome to Newcastle, where we're staying the night. We are here in Newcastle because uh, we are just using up the service New South Wales accommodation vouchers, so our stay will actually be quite cheap. But here we are in Newcastle and about to approach the ridges. There we are on the left. Beautiful day here in Newcastle. The weather's been very kind. There it is. And I believe there is also an EV charger here as well. So we'll certainly check that out. Now your destination is on the left. All right, on our way back to Sydney now. Thank you very much to Ridges Newcastle for the uh, wonderful stay. And they also charged our car up to full, as you can see, 100%. 434 kilometers uh, range. All right, everyone, on the way home back to Sydney now, about to join the Pacific Motorway M1. And we can do another range test just to verify the journey here. So there we go, we've got one hour and 40 minutes 136 kilometers away. We should arrive with a battery state of charge of 52%. Okay, so let's just also reset the trip computer. So let's go reset trip B. Okay, so that way we've got something to compare to for the trip here. We'll leave trip A as is, that way you get a, get a real world test of a combination of highway and um, urban driving as well for the roads we took in Newcastle CBD proper. Okay, let's merge. There we go. Engage autopilot, double tap right stalk. And it's good. And then we can also uh, look at our trip computer, sorry, our energy 
prediction here. So, um, so again, we should arrive home with a 53% state of charge. Okay, everyone, we're coming up to the end of our range test. As you can see, the freeway is about to end, about to uh, reach 80 kilometers an hour. Let's go through our stats now. So, uh, estimated arrival state of charge is 56%. So, again, that's good. It um, means that the car has overestimated how long it will take to get home, uh, which is great. It happened to the journey on the way to Newcastle and also on the way back to Sydney as well. So, that's great to see. Uh, let's have a look at the trip computer. Go. So trip B is the trip from Newcastle to Sydney, 115 kilometers. Uh, total energy expended 17 kilowatt hours. Average energy 148 watt hours per kilometer. All right, so I'll put the stats on the screen here, combined Sydney to Newcastle to Sydney back as well. So you can see the actual real world range between all the journeys. And I'll just show you one more thing, which is the uh, energy consumption there. I'll just turn off here. So again, like I said, the car has estimated, uh, overestimated how much energy we required to get back to Sydney, which is really good. It helps with range anxiety, turns your range anxiety to range confidence with that. All right, everyone, that ends our uh, range test today. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that. And again, many thanks to viewer Ross for loaning us his Model Y uh, to do this test and also for the next few weeks as well as he enjoys his holiday in Europe. Thanks everyone for watching and until the next Ludicrous Feed video, happy charging.